Hey guys, Nick Joseph, and welcome to Code Red Defense. Today we're going to look at a tactical flashlight. I love this shit. Okay, number one, you can keep it in your car. So even if you get stopped by the cops, it's you know it's a flashlight. You keep it for safety if ever you're stuck. Uh, as well as I keep one in my house. And you know if you're faced against an attacker or if he's even holding a weapon, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of how this thing is going to work. Okay, Pat, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so you guys can tell, just lighting it, what did that do, Pat? You're still seeing spots, right? Yeah. It blinds you. So, uh, you know, it's even better than spray because if, if, if there's wind, if there's, it, I, if I spray in here, I'm still going to get it. So what does this do? If I put it here, it keeps it back. I'm still Right? I can still flash in his eyes, I'm still using my legs, but I can also strike with him, strike with it, right? So if I hold it, how can I, what I like to do is keep it out here where I can flash, and at the same time, I can strike. This part over here, right, I can strike here, boom, underneath, but I prefer holding it where I can hammer this way, and I can hammer the same way I'd be using a stick. So if I'm here, boom, boom, I'll use my legs, I can flash, I can strike at the same time, and use this part. So it's actually very effective. I actually like this as a, as a tool to use. Again, all these are just uh, extensions. Uh, do not get emotionally attached. Do not depend on them. Know that the weapons you might have them, you, they might you might not have it if shit hits the fan. So train with it, but also train to go hand to hand with a knife. But if you have a tactical flashlight, well, it's just going to help you that much more, where you can flash the person in the eye, where I can strike here, boom, use the other side. Again, don't forget about your legs. And if you're in close range and you trap and you're here, the flashlight starts to become a little bit could actually be counterproductive because I can't trap while I'm holding this. So if you need to drop it, that's why I say don't get emotionally attached, drop it. If you can use it, fine, use it. But like right now, Pat, go give me a fight. So if I'm here right now, this thing becomes useful. Drop it and right away trap and go into the strike because holding it right now is not gonna help me. Remember, there's an advantage and a disadvantage to every move, to every weapon to every improvised weapon. And I like to give you guys both, so you don't think, oh, I have my flashlight, that's it. No, it's one tool that you can use and have. If you don't have it, or if it becomes starts to become uh, an obstacle, then just drop it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more self-defense, we have a video on weapons defense. We'll put the link in the description. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe and stand strong.